time keeping your room clean all the time. I'm sure that's a common problem for most of us because, you know, your room is kind of just like where you dump all of your stuff, where you put your clothes. And people always ask me how I keep my room so clean. So I'm gonna be sharing my secrets with you guys today top secret stuff. And these are not just for people who are like super organized. These are things that literally anyone can do. Even if you're not an organized person, you just want to have like a tidy room. So you guys can use these tips and let me know if these help you. Without further ado, let's get into how you guys can keep your room clean and tidy. Let's go. My first tip is to have a dump bin in your room, which is kind of what I'm calling it. But it's more like a to-do bin, so it's basically just like a place to throw anything, like clothes, extra little items that you have, just stuff that you don't want to put away in the moment, but you will put away later, just so that it's not on your floor all over everywhere in your room. like it you can take some time to take everything out of that bin and you just know that everything in that bin you have to put away and then your room will be clean and for those of you who really don't like making your bed my tip is to just literally sleep on top of your covers like just get a blanket and put it at the edge of your bed you won't have to make your bed daily you don't have to throw the pillows off your bed every night just basically sleep on top of your covers <laughs> helpful to have a place to put paper because even if it's school notes or just volunteer forms, receipts, coupons, anything you just want to keep, it's really hard to make it organized when you don't have a place to put paper. these dividers at Staples, Walmart, Target, any of those places. And I got the gray hanging folders from Staples. It just makes me feel so much tidier and more organized. A tip that not a lot of people think of is just having a garbage bin and recycling bin in your room. Here's me dancing with my recycling bin. Um, yeah, okay. be best if you could have a big garbage bin and recycling bin so that you don't have to empty them all the time and also you won't have garbage lying around in your room. And relating to that, it is good to set a time to actually empty those bins so it's not accumulating and you'll have new empty fresh bins. My biggest tip is to use under your bed as storage. I have a bunch of bins that I just carry random stuff in, like extra bags, makeup that I don't really think I'm gonna use, but I might need in the future, so I'm just keeping it there. I also have this huge top of a bin that I use to carry my camera equipment. My next tip is if you have drawers and bins and stuff like that is to group like items. So for example, in my drawers, I have like one category for each drawer. For the first one, it's diabetes supplies. For the second one, I keep books and a little bit of random things. In the third one, I keep my camera equipment like SD cards, vlog camera, camera chargers, little tripods, and all that stuff. And I also have these plastic bins that you can get from Walmart and Ikea. I basically grouped similar items in each compartment so it's all organized and it's all there and I can see everything. Yeah. 
The next drawer is for different types of technology like hard drives, more computer and phone based stuff. And I also have this case that I put a bunch of my cords in just to make everything tidy. <laughs> I have a bunch of cases that I use to travel and I don't know I always feel like I need little bags to carry stuff So I put all of that in here and just some random little things My next tip is to use hangers and this is amazing because you don't want to throw your clothes on the floor or on your bed Basically just hang it up and whenever you feel like it you can take it put it in the laundry bin or you can put it back in your closet <laughs> This can be good for bags too, or just whatever's lying on the ground, hang it up and your room will look much tidier. <sighs> and my last tip would just be to purge regularly, just like make it part of your week, maybe every week you go into your dump bin or you put away the stuff on your hangers. So set a reminder on your phone or put it in your calendar so you can remember and then you can always have a clean room. So thank you guys so much for watching that video. Let me know if you thought that these tips were helpful and if you're going to use them. And that is going to be it for this video today. That's it. And if you guys want to see a full room tour of my room, I actually did one kind of recently. You guys can click the I if you want to see that. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.